I have no cat in my garden for a change. It doesn't sound right, does it? Itch my ear. <coughs> I am going to be honestly truthful with you here and say that this, <laughs> this tested everything. This tested my patience, my knowledge, my skill. This tested me right down to the core for many reasons. And I still have a problem. See, over here is the indicator light for the fault onboard diagnostic. Now, if I turn it on, you will notice it just it doesn't go off it just glows dimly and I haven't found a solution to rectify it everything else is working I have my uh, I don't know if you can see that from there look so I have my um, odometer I have my air I've got my fuel and I've got my clock and if I press that button that changes if I press that button my trip changes so yeah <clears throat> in that sense that's working perfectly the FI, okay, yeah, my neutral light's working, so if I put it into gear, which I'm just going to do now, so I put it into gear, goes off, comes back on, goes off, comes back on. Oil pressure light goes off when, obviously, we start, and that is for, if I switch on, that's my side lights are now on, and obviously that's my main beam. You can tell my headlights are on because you can hear the fan running. I'm not sure if you can see, but there is definitely dash lights, and I have... One indicator there and one indicator there. Now, <clears throat> going back to this FI light, the only thing I can assume is it's something to do with the amount of current, whether it's voltage, whether it's amps, whether it's what, I don't know because that's now got an LED light in it. Whereas before it had a halogen and for the life of me I've gone through everything and at this precise moment in time I will admit I am totally stumped and I don't have an answer. But when I do get an answer, you will be the first to know. But other than that, it is working. So, we'll switch it on, and she starts. And we have, it's very noisy now, but rev counter. Uh, what we just, we'll put it in gear, what's the speedo? And then you see, speedo's working. Take it off, out of gear. So there you go, rev counter's working, speedo's working. I will need to check the speedo for calibration, but I have got a heel, heel tex speedo healer on there, so that's not a problem, I'm fine with that. Also, I'll need to check to make sure that I am getting mileage. So, what have we done? Well, basically, we've completely rewired the back in. If I could pull this out gently, because I haven't quite finished. So here is the back of the board. So. Originally it would be a printed circuit board here, but I've taken that out. So what I've done up here, which I need to actually get some more bits and pieces just to cover these up. So this is basically sugar. Sugaroo? Sugaroo, yeah. It's, um, and this is covering over the resistor. So in here, I have a breadboard and an LED light. So if I switch, actually if I can go like this, you'll see it from this end. Switch. Oh no, that's the indicator, that's why. Hang on. I switched that off, I switched this on. There we go, so that's the indicator, yeah? So that's working. So basically inside I've got an LED which is soldered in, I've got a resistor, and um, I've, this is a breadboard. So this basically is called a breadboard which is glued in place and the, the, the bits soldered onto that. Down here, a bit further down, I've got five millimeter grommets which I've put in and I've glued in with something called Superfix which is pretty decent stuff and I will be using that again. I, I tried to do a video, turned out really rubbish like a lot of the videos I tried to do on this one but I will be showing you that stuff again because I have something else to use it on um, which needs to be done. <clears throat> now all these points here are basically um, feeding the rev counter, the speedo and the LCD clock. Now, as you can see, some of them aren't covered, which I'm going to cover shortly. I'm going to put some more silicon on. This is basically glue from a glue gun, and it's just to protect it um, 
and to cover the areas to stop any water from getting on bits and pieces that I don't want to water on. The only thing I've just realised is, is that I've put it all together and I forgot to put my bloody air temperature sensor in, so I'm going to need to quickly whip that in at some point because that plugs in independently to the front. Uh, it's just easy. All I've got to do is take this case off. So before I fully bolt this in, I'm just going to run down here to all these lovely wires. So these are the wires, so I now know what one, what does what. So basically this is the side light which allows the uh, lights on the dashboard to come on. That's an indicator wire. This over here is for the speedo and all sorts. So now my task so what, as you can see, what I've done is, is that as I've replaced the wire, I've soldered the corresponding wire as to what it should be on the top so it's easy for me to find. I did that apart from some of these down here, which I've been playing with quite a lot, so I know what they are. So all it requires now is for me to decide, oh, talking about that, Skittles has just arrived. <laughs> uh, saying there's no cats in here and there's one just arrived um <clears throat> so all that require all that's left he says putting my teeth back in for me to do is to uh get some plugs which i've got over the end and work out how i'm going to do this as to whether i'm going to permanently attach them or if i'm going to plug them I've, i think i'm going to use a plug at the moment until i can find out I mean, it make it easier for me to solve this fi lighting problem um and i'm not sure how easy hard or whatever that's going to be um i don't know um it might be that i might have to i don't know beg honda for some advice on that one but so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to attach these two um skills is now off to kill a bird by the way i know it just interrupted him but yeah he's off to kill a bird um <coughs> And my cold's gone as well, my flu's gone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these to plugs. So this one here I'm going to put on its own plug. There was another one, which is this one down here, which is an earthing wire. I'm going to put this four wires. So I'm going to put it onto its own plug. And then the others, I'm going to decide which plugs. So that way I don't mix them up when I unplug and plug them back in and make it easier for future usage. Um, one thing that has um, allowed me with this is now, now I understand the dashboard more. I may look at replacing the speedo and the clock uh, or the rev counter at some point. Don't know, maybe, possibly, could do. We'll see. Um, it depends whether or not I'm happy with it or not as the case may be it's pretty simple it's not a hard task to do um in fact if i wanted to change this now i really could uh, the only obviously issue is this fi light but anyway oh do you know what i forgot to say don't forget if you like this video hit the like button give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on your notifications and i will actually catch you again when I take this thing for a little ride to show you the wonderfully new working dashboard, etc, etc. And um, I do apologise for the lack of videos. I have been really, really unwell. And um, that's, that's basically all I can say. I wish I could have done some more videos with this. It has turned out to be a bit of a nightmare. But even so, I've got it done. I'm quite happy with it. I'm more than willing to take any comments, any questions in the comment section down below. And um, yes, there we go. One working dashboard. Thank you very much. And uh, say goodbye to Skittles. Look, he's just walking over there. Okay, cheerio. Catch you later. Arrivederci.